What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set custom app icons for all of the apps on the home screen of your iPhone. Now, this trick has actually been around for a while, but with Apple launching iOS 14 a few days ago, which included those new widgets and some other stuff, a lot of people have been showing off a totally custom home screen with these custom app icons in addition to all the other stuff. And I guess a lot of people maybe didn't know you could do this with the custom app icons, but fortunately, it's very easy. It works on any iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that's running pretty much anything beyond like iOS 12. So you'll likely be able to do it and you don't need any jailbreak or like sketchy app. It's all done proper using Apple's own shortcut app. So let's just jump right into it. I'll show you the process of actually setting the custom app icons. And then I'll also get into where you can find some of these custom icons. And I'll also talk about those custom widgets you might see too. Like I said, the app we'll need to use is called Shortcuts. It should come pre-installed on your iPhone, but if you happen to have deleted it at some point, you can just re-download it from the App Store. Just make sure it's the original Shortcuts app directly from Apple, and this is what it should look like. You'll also need the regular old Photos app as well. If it wasn't obvious, you'll be downloading and saving your custom app icons to your Photos library and picking them out later. Now, the process of setting custom app icons is really pretty easy. Inside the Shortcuts app, App, you can see all the custom icons I've already set so far, but to create a new one, you'll first just tap on the plus icon in the top right corner and then tap on add action. From this menu, select scripting towards the top there and then select open app. From here, you'll wanna choose the app you wanna customize. So select whatever app you wanna change the icon for. This list includes everything that's installed on your iPhone. Once the app is selected, tap on next. And on this screen, you can name the app. It can be the actual name of the app or you can set a custom name, which is kind of cool. And this is the app name that will show up on your home screen, by the way. After that, just tap done and you'll see the new shortcut has been made. From here, tap on the three little dots in the corner of the shortcut, then tap on the three dots again on this page, then touch add to home screen. And this is where you change the app icon that you'll see on the home screen. So tap on the little default icon first next to the name and then tap choose photo. From here, you can select any icon you downloaded and saved to your photos app. You can see that I obviously have a lot downloaded already. Just choose the custom app icon you want. And then on the next page, make sure you resize it properly properly to the correct dimensions if it's a little off like mine is here, then just hit choose. The app icon is now changed and that's it. Just tap done a couple more times and you're pretty much good to go. Now you can see on my home screen, I have a custom shortcut with a custom app icon for the mail app. And that's pretty much it. You can repeat these same steps over and over again with any and all apps you wanna customize, which you can see is what I did here with this home screen. Unfortunately, there is is a caveat with this method that I don't think a lot of people have mentioned. Since we are using the Shortcuts app to do all this, what this process does is basically just create a new separate shortcut to the app itself. And with that, when you tap on the new custom app icon, it's going to flash to the Shortcuts app first and then quickly jump to the actual app you wanna open. It's a little annoying, but it's not a huge deal, I guess, if you just really want the look of a custom home screen more than anything. Everything else, of course, still functions the same, obviously. It just sort of adds that one little extra step in launching whatever app you want to go to. Also, this shortcuts method will add an additional shortcut to the app. It doesn't replace the original app icon. So you might see two icons to the same app on your home screen. But of course, with iOS 14 now, you guys probably know you can just delete or hide certain apps and move them to the app library, which is nice. So with this setup, you just just want to add the custom shortcut with the custom icon and then just move the original app to the app library where it's out of the way and off your home screen. As far as just finding app icons to download, that's really going to be up to you. But fortunately, there are already a ton of websites out there that have countless custom icon packs that you can use for this. The idea is all the same. Just find a custom icon or image you want to use and then save it to your photos library. And I'll give you a couple of example websites you can check out 
out. Like I got these app icons, for example, from a website called Icons8. This site actually has a ton of stuff to choose from and they make it really easy to save the images. Just tap on the new custom icon you want and then tap and hold to save it to your photos library. And this is just gonna be the same process for any image you might find on the internet. Another website with some options is Icon Scout. This one has a lot to choose from with some pretty nice options too. There's flaticon.com. This site has a really nice selection as well. Obviously, Pinterest has a ton of different themes and screenshots of setups for inspiration too. And you can just Google search custom app icons as well if you wanna make things easy for yourself. The main point is just that any image or any icon that you happen to find, you can use it for whatever app you want. Now, if you wanna take things one step further, I know a lot of people have also been showing off these custom colorful widgets on their home screens too. If you didn't know already, this is new for iOS 14 and there are countless widgets from Apple and from your third-party apps that you can already add. But for this custom colorful widget setup that a lot of people are using, I think most people have been doing it with this app called Widgetsmith. It's free to download from the App Store and with this app, you can actually create totally custom widgets to add to the home screen. And it's not just custom with the content, but custom with the design as well. So for example, if I wanted to make a new custom small sized widget, I can go in here and make a custom calendar or time widget. I can use an image, I can set the weather, whatever you want, but I can also change the text font, the text color, the actual widget background color and the border. And you can see a couple of the custom ones that I already made there. To add these custom widgets from Widgetsmith to your home screen, you add them like any other widget. Just jump into wiggle mode, hit the plus button, and then scroll down until you find Widgetsmith. From here, choose the size of the custom widget that you made in the app. In this case, it was a small one like you saw. And to select one of the custom small widgets you made, if you happen to have more than one, just tap and hold on this new widget, hit edit widget, and then from this screen, you have those three options that I had made from the app, which you can select. So just choose whatever number you want and you're pretty much good to go. So there you go. That's how people have been creating those crazy custom home screens you've probably seen on Twitter and Pinterest and everywhere else. It's not quite the custom complete home screen option that I know a lot of people would have liked, but I think it's still pretty cool. And it seems like a lot of folks are really getting pretty creative with it anyway. If you have any questions or run into any issues with this whole process, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to help out if I can. Also, feel free to share your own home screens or icon packs that you're utilizing. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.